will introduce the basic sample mounting, the tip mounting, and the rough approach. This is the AFM's basic sample plate. In the center of this sample plate, there is a magnet to allow you to, to assemble your sample dish on top of it. This piece of mica is going to be the sample today. We're also going to need a tool such as a pair of tweezers, a pair of scissors, and we also need double side tape and a steel sample dish. First, you cut out a little square from the double side tape. Put the tape in the center of the steel dish, and you can put your sample on top of the dish and apply pressure. Then you can pick up the steel dish with sample on it and drop on top of the sample plate. Now your sample is on the plate and ready for the next operation. There are three slots cut into the sample mounting plate. One, two, three. And there are three location pins in the AFM head. One, two, and three. Make sure the three pins goes into the three slots when you mount the sample plate to the AFM head. So next is to mount the cantilever to your scanner. In order to do so, we need to have the AFM scanner mount it on the scanner station. If you are right-handed, you need to have these adjust knob towards the right-hand side. Now let's pick up a cantilever from its box. First you set the cantilever on the surface. And then you pick up your screwdriver and adjust the screw that tightens the spring. At the same time, pick up your cantilever using the tweezers and insert underneath the spring and then gently tighten the spring using the screw. Then, if you want to make sure, you could grab the cantilever with your tweezer and gently shake a little bit. It should be solid and shakeable. Next, we pick up the scanner, insert into the AFM body, rotate the two levers, and lock down the scanner. 